Uh, hello there guys, back here for another devlog. Uh, today I'm showing off the transformation changes I've been talking to you guys about here recently. Um, so yeah, let's get right into that. Uh, first off, you know, you're now going to be able to go into Super Saiyan 2 and 3 individually. Um, so if I was to have Super Saiyan 2 selected, hold G. Uh, it's obviously a little bit buggy right now, but don't, don't mind that of course. So, boom, in Super Saiyan 2. Let's see. Uh, another cool thing. So you guys see I have Super Saiyan 2 selected. Let me press G2. I now have Super Saiyan 3 selected. Uh, G being the ascend key for me. Obviously, it's whatever it is for you. And then you also press number key, and it selects that one. So G1, uh, you know, G5, G4. So, I mean, with that, you can also just hold G1 effectively. Go into... Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Well, that's a little... Bit that's fine. Obviously, all this is work in progress. Things take time. Yeah, um, with this though, uh, I've reworked how a lot of the transformation stuff um, works just in general. I'm pretty happy with it. You guys can see here, whenever you transform, your FOV goes out. You're also supposed to go into third person, but things are buggy right now. I was messing around with a lot of stuff. I was working at a point. You, know, you have all that, uh, and you can also, of course, go your Super Saiyan 1. Assuming it lets me into it. Yeah, okay, the timer is messed up. But you can go Super Saiyan 1 straight to 2 and 3. Uh, it is worthwhile to mention, though, that you Super Saiyan 2 and 3, you get them in your menu here once your form is level 5. So do keep that in mind. Uh, you don't just have them right off the bat. I, I honestly might just uh, leave it like so you get it at any level. But I'm leaning towards that idea of it needing to be level 5. Uh, let me show you guys full power Super Saiyan 2 here. Um, so whenever you toggle it, your aura turns off, your persistent aura. I already covered this. Teasers, of course, make sure you guys always read those teasers. Follow the Twitter account, all that great stuff. Um, but whenever you go into full power, your hair becomes lighter, aura becomes lighter. And if you don't have turbo or you're not charging, your aura will turn off. You, know, you lose your super form status effect in the top left. That's, that's cool. I like that. Cool little thing I did. Um, that's about it all for that. Uh, I'll show you guys stuff with humans. Humans or Saiyans, you know, they're interchangeable in most cases. Uh, beautiful human hair. So, as you guys can see here, Superhuman is now shown form. Uh, so yeah. I mean, that, that's just a small little thing. It's no longer a weird passive-esque form. Very happy with that. Um, same thing here. Buff the hair. I did not know that would happen. Ugh, that's that is goofy looking, man. Wow. Can we saw that? Comment down below. I'm not too sure. Uh, the biggest change that I would say uh would be Arcosians. So Arcosians base form, uh, it, this current state of development is going to be first form. And as you guys can see, minimal form is an alternate toggle. Uh, so I mean, it's not on law; it's level one, whatever. You're gonna have it right away. So your base form is now first form. Um, with the first form souls and stuff, it'll be kind of weird how we handle it. I haven't really put too much thought into the scaling of it yet. This is just throwing ideas at the wall. Comment anything you guys would like, please. I'd love some criticism, constructive criticism, whatever. Right? Uh, just let me know guys think i should do with certain forms that'd be great thank you uh but yeah minimal you know you toggle it on and off like that da, da, da. and then you could charge into second again stuff's buggy right now charge into second second uh third and you can also select all these forms from the menu uh opposed to how it used to be final oh. cannot go from final to god by the way kind of there, there's your god form so not my my would be yeah, I figured that was pretty cool, and I think it makes Arcosians a little bit less confusing for someone who is using Arcosians right now, or like completely different to how they are to how every other race is, and it's kind of confusing. Yeah, um, but that's a that's about all for that. Um, obviously, I guess I covered this again for all you guys here, just in this devlog. 
Um, I've done a lot of recoding to the base transformation system, obviously, to make all of this happen. Um, I'm, ve I'm very happy with it at this moment. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, comment down below. Uh, please, thank you. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy this devlog, though. I love making these devlogs. Uh, just final thing before I head out. Make sure you guys are following us on Twitter. Uh, we're using the Twitter account to announce any new YouTube videos, YouTube uploads, whatever. Uh, any new news, a lot of that. So it's a great place, place for uh, push notification as content. If you like that, if you have a Twitter account, please do follow us and try to keep up with us. Uh, see you guys around. Good day.